In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Chargent Anywhere to set up recurring billing for your customers, which is great because if you do it right, you can get paid automatically every month without manually sending out new invoices. My name is Stacy from Chargent, and if you're a Salesforce admin or consultant who wants to learn about payments and be a superstar for your organization, we've made a special checklist for you on 10 ways to make Salesforce payments safe, easy, and profitable. So check that link in the description below. Before you begin, please know this. Make sure that you have Chargent Anywhere configured on the desired object in Salesforce. Many companies offer products and services to their customers that require a series of payments, usually referred to as subscription billing. Therefore, they will want to provide their agents with an easy way to set up these recurring transactions. Remember, Chargent Anywhere can be configured to work with any standard or custom object in Salesforce. For this example, the Chargent Anywhere component will be on the Opportunities object. So here are the steps. First, navigate to an Opportunity record. Find the Charge in Anywhere component and click on the Payment Console button. This will open the Lightning Payment Console. On the screen presented, you will notice two tabs right below the contact information. One is called One Time and the other is called Recurring. Click on Recurring. Quick tip, if you do not see the Recurring tab, go to your Gateway record, find the Show Setup Recurring button field and enable it you should now see the recurring tab. Now let's add the credit card information. On the right, you will notice two amount fields. One is called initial amount and the other recurring amount. The initial amount is what you will be charging immediately after finalizing the recurring billing setup. And the recurring amount is the amount which will be charged throughout the duration of the subscription. For this example, I will initially charge a $200 retainer and set the recurring amount to $50. Click next to continue. On this page, you will be required to define the recurring transactions. We have designated these options to fit all common recurring scenarios. For this example, I will set the frequency to monthly and will set it to stop once the balance due has been paid. Now we will select the payment start date. This is the date you will want to start the subscription. Notice that the fixed day of the month to charge field was automatically set to one. This field describes what day of the month this payment will happen. Click Next. Now you will be presented with a future payment summary with recurring billing setup details and the payment schedule. Notice the button under the payment schedule also lets us know how much will be charged immediately. Click the Charge button to complete the setup. And check out this next video where we'll show you a demo of how to take Salesforce payments with Chargent Anywhere. My name is Stacy, and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce admins and consultants like you learn about payments and be a superstar for your organization. And remember, we're always here to help.